Ultrasound, as far as we know, is a very safe modality. Uh, the other modalities, including um, x-rays or normal radiographs, fluoroscopy, and CT scans, all have known risks associated with ionizing radiation. Um, there's some argument and some kind of disagreement about what the true risk is, but we've all decided that we will accept that there's, a, in essence, a linear no threshold risk associated with ionizing radiation, meaning no matter how little you're exposed to, it does have inherent harm. So the current feel, the currently accepted idea in diagnostic radiology is any ionizing radiation is bad. And you have to have kind of a risk-benefit ratio um, of is the information I'm going to gain from this diagnostic test enough to account for the fact that I may increase this person's risk of cancer someday from ionizing radiation. To contrast that, ultrasound has no ionizing radiation. So that whole idea of, of linear no threshold and harm from radiation and causing cancers uh, is completely taken out of the equation in ultrasound. As far as we know, ultrasound is very safe and we haven't yet found any short or long-term adverse events from it. There's a theoretical risk uh, that we worry very minimally about in adults, but we think a little bit more about in children. And that's the idea of, um, in some labs, they've been able to show that with ultrasound waves, they can create micro bubbles within liquids. Um, and the idea is that if those contract and expand quickly enough, they might uh, cause heating. And so there is a, a minimal but real concern of heating, and we figure we feel that that is probably more of an issue, for example, in a fetus that is much smaller and living in a fully liquid environment, that we are worried that if we have a strong enough ultrasound beam, or if we apply that ultrasound beam for long enough, that we might cause real heating, which could cause theoretical harm. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there have not been any studies showing that we have proven that we have caused harm ever with ultrasound, uh, and so we all accept it as a very safe um, modality. But I think there is ongoing research into that just to make sure that we haven't missed something along the way. The safety of ultrasound definitely does make us feel more uh, willing to use it, and there are a few very clear situations. The main one is pediatric radiology. Going back to ionizing radiation, if we're worried that any dose of radiation will increase your cancer risk. Certainly if you're one year old, we hope that you're gonna live at least 79, 90 more years. If you're 90 years old, my guess and history says you're probably not gonna live a whole lot longer. And so if we're worried about something related to the ionizing radiation that may take 30, 40, 50 years to develop, we're a lot more concerned about that in children. So in pediatric radiology, that's an area where we really try to reduce the amount of ionizing radiation or eliminate it if possible. And so ultrasound is a bigger part of pediatric radiology than adult radiology. But even in adults, we do everything we can to avoid ionizing radiation, and often that does mean ultrasound. So in addition to pediatric radiology, I think women's imaging um, is another area where ultrasound is used very regularly. I know that every day there are multiple ultrasounds of breast lesions uh, in women up at OHSU. A corollary to that is MRI. MRI takes longer and is much more expensive, but it also takes away the, uh, the risk of ionizing radiation. So I think that women's imaging and pediatrics are both areas where we feel much more free to use ultrasound because it does not use ionizing radiation.